Okay, in this problem, a, I have a radical equation. So, um, it's solving these are a little bit like solving um, the exponential equation. You want to isolate the term with under the radical all by itself on one side of the equation first. That's your first step. So, that's going to give me 2 equals the square root of 3x plus 1. And now, I'm going to raise both sides of the equation to the to the a power that's equal to the index of the radical. So it's going to be, I'm going to go to the second power and I get 4 equals 3x plus 1 because the radical is going to cancel out and disappear. Alright, now I'm going to subtract 1 and get 3 equals 3x divide by 3 and I get x equals 1. Okay. Um, in this one, the radical is already all by itself. So I'm going to go raise both sides of the power to the recip uh, reciprocal, not the reciprocal, to a power equal to the index of the radical, which in this case is 2. So I'm going to get uh, the radical is going to cross out on the right. And I'm going to have to do a minus 4 times a minus 4. And I'm going to have to FOIL. That's not equal to a squared minus 16. Don't be, uh, don't be fooled. I'm going to have to square it. And do first, outer, inner, last. a squared minus 8a my plus 16. So I get a squared minus 8a plus 16. Now I have a quadratic equation to solve. I need to get a zero on the right and all the other terms on the left. So I move the 3a and minus 12 over to the left. Combine like terms. I get a squared minus 11a plus 28 equals zero. Okay, I need two factors of 28 that add up to negative 11. Well, that would be a minus 7 and a minus 4. That means my solutions are going to be uh, 7, positive 7 and positive 4. Because I set up a minus 7 equals 0, and I solve that equation. And I do a minus 4 equals 0, and I solve that equation. Now, once you get your solutions, you need to make sure that ni neither of them are extraneous. They're going to be extraneous if when you put them into the original equation, you get uh, a negative under a radical. So if I put 7 in uh, for a, I get 21 minus 12. Uh, that's positive, so that's fine. When I put 4 in, I get 12 minus 12. Uh, that's 0, so I can take the square root of 0, so that's fine as well. So that means neither of these are extraneous, and both of them are my solution. Yeah. There we go. Okay, is there one beside it? No. So we're going to move on to... 24. Okay, so uh, the same rules apply here if it's the third root uh, equation. I want to get the term, the radical expression all by itself. So that's going to give me minus 3 equals minus cube root of n. Not, oh my gosh, I cannot think. All right, now I want to divide by negative 1. I want the radical all by itself, not even with a negative sign. I get 3 equals the cube root of n. Now I raise both sides to the third power. Those cross out, and I get n equals 3 cubed, which is n equals 27. Now, you don't need to check for extraneous solutions if you have a... Uh, an odd power because you can take this the an a radical uh, a negative signs allowed underneath um, a radical with an odd index, not an odd power. Okay, so let's see. Are there any more on this side? 
All right, let's do 25. Solve the system by elimination. Okay, so the way I showed you in class to do it is this is here. Let me just rewrite it. Is to draw parentheses around both equations, put the negative 3 there, the 2 there, change the sign of one of them. So then I distribute. So I get uh, 6x minus 9y equals negative 18, and I get negative 6x minus, uh, let's see, this is 2y minus 4y equals 18. So add those together. Those are going to drop out, and I'm going to get negative 14y. Negative 14y. Negative 14y equals 0. Then I'm going to divide by negative 14. And I get y equals 0. All right, so once you have the value for x or for y, you go back and substitute that value into one of the original two equations. So I'll just do use the first one. So I would have 2x minus 3 times 0 equals negative 6. That would be the same thing as that. And then I would divide by 2 and get x equals negative 3. And of course, don't forget y equals 0 is also part of your solution. Alrighty, let's see, do we have another one of those problems? Oh, where'd my little hand symbol go? Oh, there he is. Oh yes, there must be one over here. There we go. Okay, so this is a system of three equations and uh, with three variables. So we did work on this one day in class. So um, what you want to do is pick, um, first of all, you're going to eliminate r from, two, from all three equations. So to do that, you work with the first two, okay, and do the same thing that we've been doing. So I'm going to write a negative 3 here and a 4 there, and I'm going to change the sign of one of those numbers. Then I distribute. So, and, and what do I get? I get uh, negative 12r plus 8s minus 20t equals 76. And here I get positive 12r uh, minus 15s plus 3t equals negative 15. Okay, add those together, and I get those drop out, and I get, let's see, negative 7s minus 17t equals 61. So that's a, my first equation where I eliminated r. Now I'm going to eliminate r from, equation, from the second and third equations. So that's the next step. So... If I multiply this one by 4, and that one by 4, and then I change the sign of one of them, uh, I think it's going to work. So when I distribute, I get negative 16r minus, plus 20s minus 4t equals 20. And I get positive 16r minus 4s plus 12t equals negative 36. Add those together, I get negative 16s plus 8t um, equals negative 16. So that's my second equation. And let's hope that when I combine them, this works out. Okay, so the next step is uh, you eliminate, you take those two equations and you eliminate s. So I'm going to put negative 16s 
plus 8t equals negative 16. You might want to have a calculator on hand because you're going to kind of get big numbers. Okay, so I do my thing where I switch the coefficients and, and change the sign of one of them. Okay, now I distribute. Let me get out my calculator. So 16 times 7 is 112 and 16 times 17 uh, no 17 is 272 so that will give me let's see um, negative 112 s uh, minus 272 T equals and I need to do 61 times 16 so let me find it let me find the version of this that does not have that 7 in yellow. Uh, uh, okay, let's try... Okay... Okay, that one's better. I don't know why this other one. Huh. Okay, so what did I say? I need 61 times 16. That gives me 12, 176. And for the lower one, I get 112S uh, minus 56T equals 112. Add those together, I get, uh, let's see, um, 8, I get negative 328 T equals, and then I'm going to use my calculator so I don't screw this up. So it's 12176 um, plus 112. 12, 288. And now I'm going to pray that I end up with an integer when I solve this. I by negative 328. It's going to be the moment of truth. Uh, I just think my odds are probably 50 50. I don't know if I can have made it all the way through here without making a clerical error somewhere. And I did. Okay. I'm going to pause this. Um, Go find my error, and then we'll resume. As soon okay, I think I found two problems, uh, two errors that I made, one with a calculator and one with uh, when I was solving the first, second two equations to get rid of the first variable. So um, I think I made a sign error here, negative 4, um, 20s and negative 4s is positive 16s, not negative 16s. Um, I think the rest of it is right. So that means my equation where I'm eliminating R is going to be, uh, let me just erase this. Uh, that means that's positive. Uh, and, okay, that's right. So that means um, I really have 16s there. And that means. Um, I get uh, I get uh, let's see 16 I get negative one right and I get plus 56 and I get negative 112 okay and then by this was 976 so that means this just get erase all of that uh, I have to do on my calculator. Well, I don't have to, but I... 72 minus 56, 216. So I get 216t equals, and then 96 minus 112, or 976. 
864 and this one is gonna work yay okay so I divide by 216 and I get uh, t equals 4 okay now I take t equals 4 and I, I substitute it back into one of my equations that just had s so I could do either one of these it doesn't matter uh, which one I do S put the 4 in for so I'm gonna put the 4 in the first one just to keep it simple um, so that's T so I would get negative 7 s minus 17 times 14 times 4 equals 61 okay 4 times 17 is 40 is 72 no uh, let's see 40 68 uh, yep, yeah, 68. So I'm going to get um, uh, negative 7s minus 68 equals 61. Add 68 to both sides. I get negative 7s equals 7 divided by negative 7. And I get s equals negative 1. So that's my s value, and now I just put that, the t equals 4 and s equals 1, back into the original, one of the two original equations. I'll do this one. So negative 3r uh, plus 2 times, what did I say, which one was s? Negative 1. Two times negative one minus five times four equals nineteen. So negative three r minus two minus twenty equals nineteen. So negative three r minus twenty two equals nineteen. Add twenty two to both sides. Nine and two is one. So, uh, let's see, what, what am I doing wrong here? Minus 2, minus 5 times 4 is 19, minus 20, negative 3r minus 22 equals 19, 41, hmm. I'm going to have to pause it and find my error again. All right, uh, did you see my mistake? Uh, unfortunately, uh, this should have been negative 216. When I divide by negative 216, I get, uh, I don't get uh, what I had. I get t equals negative 4. So, that means that's negative 4. When I put negative 4 in here, this becomes positive 68. This becomes uh, 129, not 7. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Ugh, it's a disaster. Um, I subtract 68. And this becomes, let me just erase all of this. Okay, I'm going to subtract 68. I get negative 7s equals negative 7 divided by negative 7. And I guess s equals 1. So that means t hopefully is negative 4 and s is 1. So I'm going to take those back into my original equation, my, the first one, and hopefully it's going to work out this time. My battery's running low, so um, uh, you know what? I'm going to pause this and go plug my computer in before it dies. Okay, I think this time it works. So I put negative 3r and s is 1, so plus 2 times 1 minus 5 times negative 4 equals 19 so that's negative 3r plus 22 equals um, 
19, subtract 22, and you get negative 3r equals um, negative 3, divide by negative 3, and you get r equals 1. So my solution then is going to be r equals 1, s equals 1, and t equals negative 4. Yeah. Wow, that was a long problem. I guess I remember when you I gave you a test on it, I had you just fill in the blank for me solving the pro equate the uh, problem. All right, so that's it. We'll st we'll cap this screencast um, off right now, and I'll pick it up in another one.